What's up, guys? Back at the shop, working on the scooter. And you might be able to see what I'm working on. So I just got home from work, and my uh, old man told me that the scooter was leaking, and there's gas on the floor. And uh, it really, it fucking stinks in here. Got the door open, though, so we got really good ventilation in here, which is nice. There, yeah, you can kind of see it dripping. So, I'm pretty sure my float is stuck open, which means I gotta take it off. Um, I kind of had to do it anyway. This was gonna be like a funny, uh, haha, let's make the scooter vape video, you know? Bought some sea foam. thought it would be like, you know, a good little, uh, it would probably clean out some varnish and crap. I don't know how good it is at doing that, but whatever. And I was thinking it might clean the spark plug and then maybe that might fix whatever the running issue is. I know I need to get a new spark plug, but I didn't want to take it out, run to the store, come back because I hit the store on the way home. So whatever. Um, I guess I'm taking this off. Off she comes. All right. Because it's tight in here and I'm not... I might... Hmm... I don't know how this comes out. Whatever. Because it's tight in here, I'm not really going to have a good way of recording this. Um, so I'm going to just tell you what I'm doing. It basically looks like here. So this is uh, for the intake on the engine. It seems to be this. Throttle cable. Fuel, obviously. I, uh, you can see I clamped it shut, so no more fuels going in and then this uh wiring cabling whatever ecu control i have to move it anyway because these are on the wrong side of each other i think i can undo it like at the plug over here so it'll all come off in one go i don't think you can take this part off so that's what i'm going to do real quick i got the carb off this is what it looks like without the carb um i don't really know what this does I want to say it's like a return line, but it doesn't really go anywhere. It might just be like a weird vacuum or something. But uh, yeah, so it's this uh, fuel line, which I it's crimped off, and I just have the paper towel here so that it doesn't get uh, fuel everywhere. And then uh, throttle cable, which is frayed a little bit. So we got some good Chinese shit up in here. So um, got the carb out. I really don't want to kind of be playing around with it right now. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you could see it in the video. It was leaking right out the front here. So the float probably stuck open. Um, I've never really taken a carb apart, so this would be the first time. I think I'm going to take this one apart. If I can't really figure it out, this one's supposed to be new. I mean, you can like, I don't know if you can see at least newer than this, you know, this thing's like oily and crappy. So I might not even bother screwing around with this right now, at least, um, because I obviously want to get this scooter working at some point. I also have another carb um, for the big bore, whatever. Uh, it's the same carb, but I have another carb for this too. So I have three carbs. I think between all of them, I can figure it out, but I'm most likely just going to take this, put it on there. This is the port that that other little thing went to. I have really no idea what it is, but I will explore and learn more about carbs because I don't know shit about them. Probably not going to screw around with these right now. Really want to get editing the last video that I recorded already. I really didn't have the time today to be screwing around with this. I was really, I was just going to put the sea foam into it and run it for a little bit, you know, see if it kind of vape, vaped a little and cleaned out the I don't know if the carb jets were clogged or something and then that's why it wasn't it was stalling out on on high throttle not 100% sure but it looks like I'm not leaking anymore it was definitely coming out of the carb and nowhere else which kind of sucks that I have to deal with that but you know with all the parts I have it should be pretty easy to get this fixed up and going but yeah on another day I'm probably going to uh dissect this part um see what's up with it. I mean, I, I want to, the reason I bought, you know, the reason I bought these two was to do a lot of learning. The reason I'm part of the team, the reason I'm doing all of this automotive stuff is because 
I wasn't doing it. I wanted to do it and I wanted to learn. In the last like two years that I've been with the team, I guess it's, yeah, it's almost two years now. In the past two years, I've learned so much and really it's never too late to get into this stuff. Next day at the shop, uh, if you notice, no puddle of fuel. And uh, my uh, clamp seemed to work all right. I don't, I don't really see much gas or smell much gas there. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this good carb, put it on here, call it a day. Uh, I think I found an angle that'll work. Uh, I mean, it's dirty. Here, I'll bring it up. I mean, it's dirty, but it's not bad. Uh, I'm honestly probably going to throw this back in. Oh, it's so Chinese. Alright, remember, remember this. Number one superpower A7TC, something like that. All right, got the other carb off most of the way. I'm gonna do like a little comparison. So this is the new one. You can just see how clean it is. Just everywhere is clean. And this one is just, you know, a little gunkier. So I'm also contemplating swapping the uh, fuel filter. Because the one on the other bike looks nicer. Yeah, there's your comparison though. I don't know if you can see that in camera. They're roughly the same size, but whatever. Gotta swap them. Of course, the gas goes right through the gloves, so it doesn't matter, does it? All right, let's uh, get this battery attached and start cranking her. I hope I didn't lose a lot of fuel, but I feel like I did because uh, this has only like half a tank. I don't know if it's getting fuel yet. I see fuel in the fuel filter, so it should be almost ready to start. Go. So I'm gonna actually let it run a bit, see if it'll, you know, idle properly, and then I'll run it around the yard. All right. Well, she seems to be idling pretty good. Okay.
right there. Well, I think there are carb adjustments that need doing, but that was definitely better. I'm gonna uh, put some sea foam in it, honestly. But it's not dying out like it was. Um, my idle might be a little low. So it says one ounce per gallon. This takes a gallon. This is 16 ounces, so I have to put a 16th of this in. That's how much she's getting. <laughs> we'll see if she vapes. This thing's awesome. Yeah, it seemed to want to die there again. I don't see any uh, vape clouds yet, but the carb is basically clean and the engine has super low mileage, so... You know, one of the biggest points of making these videos is I wanted to show you guys just like how easy a lot of stuff actually is. I mean, I just changed the carbs on these in 30 minutes, something like that, 30 minutes, and I got both the carbs changed, and I mean, I'm going to take this apart. Um, dissect it, kind of see what was wrong with it for another video. Um, and I'm going to keep doing this stuff. I'm going to keep doing, I'll do car stuff too. We're going to do the race stuff still. We're going to do the bus stuff still. Um, it's all coming, but I don't want to just force shitty videos on you because that's kind of super stupid. But yeah, she's running. She's running really good. I'm really happy about that. And I mean, so far, all I've done on this bike buy a battery so if you say the two bikes I bought them both for 100 if you say they're both worth half of that 50 each I mean I'd say this is worth more than the other one but whatever split it split it in two if you say they're, they're worth 50 each I've spent like less than $80 on this and there it is running and it seems to be running fine so you know, if you guys are really looking to get into working on cars, working on anything with a motor, try and find a, a cheap moped that's not running, or even a lawnmower or weed whack or something like that. Those are super easy to figure out and super easy to fix, and they're usually so cheap. I mean, you can usually just fix them by cleaning out the cart and then sell it back on Craigslist for three times what you bought it for. So that's a good that's a good tip for anyone looking to make a couple bucks. She's doing good. Again, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more. We'll catch you in the next one.